The dirty South, put down your boiled peanuts and stop kissing your sister because the boys are heading your way this week, baby. Yeah, we're going to be in Tampa on April 19th at the Tampa Theater. Then April 20th, we're going to be at the Center Stage Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. Get your tickets at areyougarbage.com. It's stand up, mean the big man co headline. Then we play AYG with the crowd. You ask your questions, you've seen the clips. Yeah. We'll see you there. Later. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're good to be classy. Yeah. Because they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Ace Foley, coming at you on a rainy day. We're out back here at Tootie's in a new edition. She's mm-hmm. down at the court running a little ball. Okay. Doing her thing. Nice. Hits him. Sky on. <laughs> I call, call Tootie the running hooker. You catch my drift? <laughs> <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the tables, what we call a family episode mm-hmm. here at Are You Garbage? Just the boys, the bozos, and the homies. He is the CEO Whoa. of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. <laughs> sure. <laughs> And on the hook for most tax liability. <laughs> Give it up for Man. KJ, Kevin James Ryan. The kid is under it it's right now. It's tax season, dude. <laughs> Motherfuckers start getting nervous. <laughs> so they're going to bring the whole building down on me. God damn. I'll be selling the furniture <laughs> next week. I just got this money. I'm pulling myself out from the rubble. We are bad <laughs> with cash. Wait, you wanted half or what? I don't even know you, dude. You got to make this a religion real quick. <laughs> Start doing weddings or something. I don't know what. It's the point of making money. They just Woo! take it from you. God damn it. Uh, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full mm-hmm. video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are Fruit of Rail. cooking, baby. Closing cooking. in on 200,000 subs on over there on the YouTube. Let's go. Started from the bottom. Now we're here, baby. Mm-hmm. And then obviously the greatest website of all time. You go over there, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. You get up to a bajillion, maybe two bajillion hours worth of content over there we got the ireland videos getting cooked up right now they're gonna be dropping pretty soon a lot of good stuff over there gang (laughs) how about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire the magic man Mm -hmm. makes us all look good works the ones the twos the threes and the fours he's our long-haired pot smoking fucking boy over there (laughs) (laughs) fucking chiba man himself (laughs) Give it up for the plug. T-Bone McStruffins. Don't oh, even the call plug, everybody. The plug's pretty good. <laughs> what up, boys? What up, T-Bone? Dude, the vibes are at an all-time high. I'm yeah. feeling great. Do you know that That's be- funny because I'm pretty depressed. Yeah. I'm <laughs> ready to blow my brains out. What are you talking Jesus about? Jesus Christ. I'm getting it on all fucking fronts. Uh, well, I was going to say, the sun finally came out for the first time in eight months, it feels like. I'm no. feeling pretty good, dude. Yeah, it went away two <laughs> seconds later. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Everything's great. <laughs> this shit sucks. I I am excited. What? Next week. Back on the road. Back on the road. This week, yeah, coming up. Let's go. We're, we're out there, baby. Uh, We got a fucking beaster of a run we coming up. We got a beaster of a run. We got Charlotte sold out. We got Nashville sold out. Mm-hmm. Atlanta seems to be going. Tampa seems to be moving along. We're going to be on the bus, though, together. We got a fucking which tour bus. Which we talked about a little bit, but man. Which will be fun, man. We're going to have to do it. We got to figure out what kind of snacks we want on the bus. That's what I wanted to bring up. I'm thinking Cheez-Its. We got to stock that thing. Not snacks. I'm just saying we got to have waters. We got to have Club Saudis. We got to have Red Bulls for T-Bone. Can that thing pull that's, up? That's corny shit. I want combos, <laughs> pringies of every denomination. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We will not take any sugar-free Red Bull slander on this year's show. No, sugar free. I mean, that's that's the that's the that's the gas that keeps the show going, baby. What are you talking about? What's deadly are those uh, the pistachios with no shell. Sure, which I'm aren't pe- as which no aren't, work. Which aren't as good as the ones that come in the shell. Yeah, really shovel them in. It's crazy. You're popping them in left and right. That's the only thing from keeping me eating a whole bag is the shells. Sure, but. That's all behind us now. <laughs> Can we pull that thing up to a Walmart and load up? I think so, yeah. Pulling the fire I lane. don't really Keep it running. I don't really know a whole bunch. <laughs> a bunch of toothless mouth breathers going, y'all in the band. <laughs> <laughs> I got a guitar. How you down? Yeah, they got Skinner out front. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> don't you people have homes? Shout out to Gaddy Shack. Uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be a it'll be a fun one. I'm uh, I'm excited to get back on the road. It's been a fucking minute. It's been since the end sure. of last year we were on the road. Dibs bottom bunk, obviously. Yeah, I got I got I got to do a bottom too. Yeah. You, you said there are they coffins? Are they three stacks or two stacks? 
Fucking Johnny Industry over here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> That's tour bus talk, gang. Jesus. I don't need that out the hard way. I don't need a bunk. I'm going to sketch the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> what, skateboard behind the bus? <laughs> yeah, the that back. was a great game, by the way. Skitching? What do you mean? You would do that? No, it was a Sega game. Oh, what? Called Skitching? Yeah, you were just... Did you, did you play that? No. no. Really? I like panhandling. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little tinkers. How you doing? <laughs> Chasing the paper boy down the street. How was that a video game? I don't know. It was the 90s, man. It was wide open. Fucking out of ideas. That's it was, crazy. It was very much like Paperboy, and I forget the things, but you would hold on to it. In fact, you would hold on to the back of a car on rollerblade. I don't yeah, love that's that. Why, I was say, that's why I never played it. It was a rollerblade yeah. game. I don't like skitching. I don't like that name. So that's what Michael J. Fox was doing in- uh, He's twitching. He's t- Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hey, that's hey. terrible. Hey. God damn it. How dare you? <laughs> what? My father had Parkinson's. Parkinson's. Uh huh. Kids hanging in there too. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to MJ, it's fucking true. legend. I wanted to be him so bad when I was. He a never kid. did it for me. Oh, uh, it was just an age thing. I missed it. When Family Ties dropped, I used to try to dress like him, and it's that thing that we talked about. I couldn't figure out why I looked different than him. Like why? I got, I got a few. I got a few ideas. Why he could wear <laughs> your vest was nine sizes bigger. I know. <laughs> yeah, you, but that we were we've talked about this. Yeah, that didn't hit you. That oh, I'm a fat piece of shit. And he's he's a, a tight you know, a tight little body on that kid. No, it hit me. That's pr- why things didn't look right. I was aware quite early. <sighs> Dude, I would try to do like he would wear like the 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 button down under a sweatshirt. I just looked like a fucking health teacher. It was mm-hmm. brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Anywho, um that's dangerous. That's kitchen. Oh yeah. But yeah. yes, but to go back, we have um we do have uh there are two the bunks are two. Cool. And there's a there's one or two spares. Nice. There's nothing in the back, right? There's a lounge. Oh, what's in the floor? Is the lounge isn't in the front? There's like a lounge on- in the front. Ooh. Double lounge. Sweet. There's two atriums. Nice. Yeah, prickly peak. For the big fight on the road. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to the bow <laughs> go to the bow of the bow of the bus, T Bone. I'm finished with you. We're gonna do some leg wrestling in the back. <laughs> if I can really get after it. We're also gonna need to pull the Jay Z move. Second tour bus with the recording studio. Sure. Uh, Which? How hard are you no, working? We can't afford that. We can. We, we can't can, afford uh, the first one. Are we doing pods on there? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pod up. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patreon pods on the there fuck. You go. On the ultimate a bus. pod on the road. Mm-hmm. I'll finally get away from that dashboard cam that you have. Man, <laughs> that is unforgivable. <laughs> that thing. Yikes. <laughs> if I ever get a part, I can't film in the car. I have to put the camera fucking three I, car lengths I, away. I think we're okay. Hey, I'm working, baby. <laughs> Said a goddamn short. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop talking about your wiener like that. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys this. What's that? <clears throat> I think this is something that is unforgivable, and I say this with a staunch record. We agree. I'm a dirt bag, right? I'm dirty. I pee on the floor. No, no I do objections this, here. I do that. Which no peeing on the floor in the tour bus. I was real good with that on Burt's bus. I mean, you were dripping, but you were cleaning I it cleaned, up. I cleaned you it were all cleaning up. it up. Yeah. He would he would bust out of that telephone booth that is a bathroom <laughs> on his hands and knees with paper towel. Look out, Lois! <laughs> Come out of there like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah, it was. Uh, oh, I'd have to like suck at it, dude. The aim, man, it was like holding the fucking la- laser especially guided if, missile. If you're moving, it's fucking. Yeah, it's like trying to do that uh, that in air refuel. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. I would freak out doing that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have the steady hand. For that, it's more like a marine assembling a gun blindfolded. Yeah. He's going, he's going pure on feel. It was crazy. It's not even in his hand. <laughs> he's just doing. Your, your wiener's so small, you don't know if it's in there. That's what I'm saying. You're, just, <laughs> you're doing this. I was. That re- was the joke, Foley. I was real conscious about that on the on on his bus. I didn't want to be the guy like, fucking peeing on the floor or fucking whatever. Also, no farting on the bus unless you're in your bunk. Sure. The gas chamber. I, that's what, yeah. I was gassing them out. If there was any bed bugs in there, they weren't making it. I was giving the old kippy one, two. I got a whole family of fleas. <laughs> he shouldn't have had that brisket. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Um, anywho, something that... Uh, Get tickets to the Tampa and Atlanta show. That's what we're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, grab tickets to the Tampa and Atlanta. It's going to be a party. It's going to be fun. Um, drives me crazy... Okay, and again, I know, I know, I have a lot of um, demerits. I do a lot of things that are that are considered garbage. Obviously, there's someone in my home, okay, that doesn't fill the ice. I'm a big ice guy, so I got that Yeti. I've been drinking more water than I've ever drank in my life, and it's because of this. Two Yeti. to three sips a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's really good at like more water than I've ever drank in my I, life. I spit you've been, it out. You've been living off fucking Fanta for six years. All right. I'm aware, and I love it, and I'm starting to become. I'm starting to crave it. 
But they just came out with a thing that said cold water is not good for you anymore. Some guy had a heart attack because of cold water. That real- That's really cold water. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, but- that was ether, dude. Yeah. Um, okay. Th- yeah, which sucked because I it's love- It's not bad for <laughs> you. <laughs> Come on. That's Wait, what that's- it- give-, give it to Google. Stop buying into is that cold shit. Water- is cold water bad for you? I'm not. It's not bad. F- I, I mean, what are we talking hey, about? Don't talk to There's me. There's no talk- evidence that cold uh, drinking cold water is bad for your health. That guy was uh. on fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to wash it down. Yeah. Anywho, I love my cold water, and it takes a lot of ice to get it to get it. Once it gets cold in that Yeti, it's nuts. I've mentioned this that that that, that is state of the art technology as far as I'm concerned. Those Yetis. I wish I was on them years ago, but. We keep the Brita out of the fridge, out of the refrigerator now, because the bird likes t- room temperature water. Sure. All right. Um, but the ice tray situation. Not refilling it. Refilling it sloppily. Half of them are half done. That's some of them are overdone. It drives me up a fucking wall. I think if you're doing it, you got to do it. I'd rather you not do I don't know. I mean, it's just like, that's the OCD in me of like, if I'm doing the job, I'm fucking, I'm in there with like lasers to make sure it's all flat and shit. I want to get a I mean? bucket in there and start cracking them and, and keeping it stocked up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it's trashy, but why don't you just do the bag of ice? Now you get bag of ice in there. Then it, all that freezer burn in there. You gets, st- no, you can you, you can stay bag on top of ice. Of it. Very quickly turns into one big hunk yeah. of ice. Now if you, you buy can't the bag, do bags of ice in buy, that house, dude. I'm telling you. What do I got? People coming over? I'm telling you. There's. Are there's, you doing bagged ice? No. But, Man, I tell you, your credibility is really going down the tubes. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, you say you want ice. There's a solution. And if you, there's this ice, I don't know if it's got a little bit of salt in it or something, but they stay in balls. Really? They don't. The, the, the grocery store near me sells them. They're fan. Are they balls? They're like rounder. They're like perfect. The cylinder ones with the hole through it. Yeah. The greatest ice of all time. The greatest. Mine is crushed ice, obviously. I know what, or the pellets. Sure. I'm a, I'm a I love pellet a pellet. Like I also don't a, mind. Like you're working at a bait store. I also don't mind the little. Um, they're like little half moon bangers. They have a little bit of a curve on one side and flat on the bottom. They melt quick. Though. They do melt. They don't quick. hold. That's like what you get at a hospital or something. I yes. Feel. Yeah. yeah that dude, a fucking a screaming cold DC <laughs> in a styrofoam cup with yeah. those. You're you're chewing on those. You're in trouble. <laughs> you're the you're either on your way out or having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're jammed up. The either last way. place you want to be is nibbling on some ice <laughs> chips. I'll tell you that. He held down the ice. He's held down some ice though. They're, they're whispering in the corner. He's holding the ice down. Pretty guys, look it up. That's got that's got low grade fever written all over it. Oh, oh. God, w- watching the prices right over the beeps. Oh, oh man. man, Jesus Christ! I see in a couple to- weeks. Toby just made it too real. <laughs> <laughs> Your aunt's crying in the corner. What the fuck, man? You see the priest popping in. Fuck. There Anywho, was, there was uh, that reminds me my my, my grandma. This is uh, you know, God, a, a while ago, a decade ago at least. But my when my grandmother was on hospice, mm. it was down the shore where they 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 lived down the shore, mm-hmm. and um, she was in hospice on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the boardwalk. <laughs> Fudgy wudgy. <laughs> Here we get two. Um, it was my family's so her, her, big. Her last meal was a Tully Nutter and a slice of steak pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way to go? Speaking of good, good hey, ice, he's splitting that funnel cake with his grandma. <laughs> Gammy funnel cake fries. Um, Shout out to him. Uh, it was my family's huge, obviously. So like right. she's down there, and um, you know she's in hospice, so she she she's getting ready to move on. So our whole family comes down. Where? What? Move on where? Where do you think? Oh, oh, I think. Hey, guys, were... oh, wait. I th- <laughs> we did... to, the, to the farm, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I dude. thought you meant they were so moving. For a guy who has death on his mind all the time, I don't know how you didn't pick up on I that. I thought you meant move on like another facility or oh, something. Oh, uh, like what that. I also well, I meant to say, we were in an Uber the other day and uh, we were sitting there and it's like quiet. I got my headphones in. He's got his in and like, he, no, yeah. it gets quiet. Yeah, we were on the <laughs> plane. No, we were in an Uber, I think. Were or whatever. We? we were sitting next to each other, quiet, just, you know, we were coming off the road. We got the headphones in. He tapped, I know where this is going. He, he taps me. And, like, I hadn't talked to him in, like, I don't know, an hour probably just because, like, you know, we had spent all weekend. And we're just, like, just in, in our own fucking thoughts. And he taps me. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, he's like, take your headphones out. I'm like, all right. And he goes, were you at my dad's funeral? I'm like, is that what's on your mind right now? You're running through the guest list at the funeral? I'm like, it's a beautiful day. You're fucking... 
Yeah. <laughs> the darkest man I know. Dude, one time we were in an Uber. <laughs> and we're like having a regular conversation, whatever, normal. I look over, two minutes, I'm on my phone. I look back over. He's got tears running down his face and third eye blind on his phone. Me? <laughs> something like that. He goes that. quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't third eye blind, but it was something like she that. She broke my heart. It I was... wish you would step back from that list. It was some 1996 middle of the road band <laughs> that you were having a moment. Third eye blind is not a middle of the road blend. They were a goddamn arena act for a little while. Go looking kid, too. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't Were know why. Were you I'm- at my dad's funeral? <laughs> and I went, uh, nah, man, I think I, I think I was in Germany. And he's like, was Toby there? I'm like, ah, I don't know, man. There, yeah, I don't have the guess. None of you guys are. The only one that was there was Cassidy. Correct. But everybody had reasons. Correct. Personal reasons, et cetera, et cetera. Luke, I don't think. Luke wasn't I there. was golfing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I had a tea time I couldn't shake. <laughs> yeah, stop breaking for the old man. Now watch this drive. <laughs> like that's, a- that's like George Bush. We're going to get it. yeah, yeah. 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 Now watch this drive. Now watch this drive. Anyway. What? The ice situation has been really bothering me. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, there's if you can get your hands on a good bag of ice, it doesn't, and you got to stay on top of it. If you leave it in there for fucking three weeks, yeah, it's going to clump up. But if you stay on top of it, it's a great solution. I'm telling you. Fucking cooling down my water with frozen butcher box. <laughs> get that or you can buy those. Flavor. You can buy those, like, stainless steel ones. Stainless you steel? You buy, like, a bag of them. They're like stainless steel. They're like artificial ice cubes. Oh, I'm not fucking doing that. All Get right. out of here. That shit was popular for a minute. That's like playing with a gerbil toy. I'm not fucking dealing with that <laughs> fake ice. All that plastic and shit in there. I think it's stainless steel. You can nah. get like metal one. I do like the technology. Well, of- then listen. I don't know what to tell you. I'm giving you fucking nine solutions here. I want you to go and straighten this broad out. <laughs> show her how to fill a fucking ice cream. Sounds like a you job. <laughs> Can't but talk about Blue Chew. I'm hard right now, gang. Shout out to all you limp noodles out there. I'm not only a spokesman. Whew, the, you got me. The player president. How you doing? How you doing? Player coach. Let's go. Gang, if it ain't working like it used to, Juice up a little bit. Get yourself some Blue Chew. Blue Chew is an online service that sends ED meds right to your door mm-hmm. with no act with the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in a chewable tablet at a fraction of the cost. It's a total win all around. Yeah, your Johnson Rod will be hanging heavy, baby, <laughs> and I know from experience. <laughs> uh, getting started is easy. Everything is done online. Just sign up at BlueChew.com. You yeah. consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, your prescription will show up with your show up to your doorstep within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it, baby. There you go. We got a special office, all special deal for AYG listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code GARBAGE at checkout. Just pay five bucks for shipping. That's it. Five beans for shipping. You get this stuff for free. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code GARBAGE to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details, important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the show. Yes, we do. Kip, this is Ladder. Shout out to Ladder, gang. Ladder term life, baby. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. If you, if you died tomorrow. Uh-huh. Which I pray to God you don't. <laughs> Middle of tax season. Here. Sure. If you died tomorrow, would you be screwing over your family? Probably, yeah. I know I would, and I apologize in uh, ahead of time. Yeah, ahead of time. I apologize. But we could straighten that out. You got to make sure that your loved ones are taken care of. Mm-hmm. All right. You got to get insurance through Ladder Life. Ladder is a totally digital, no doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, all you got to do is answer a few quick questions about your health and an application. It takes only minutes to do. You'd be set for life. Yeah, guys, it's definitely some, death. It's, it's something that you put off. It's easy peasy. You go over the ladder. You sign up. Bada bing, bada boom. You find out if you're instantly approved. The older you get, the more life insurance is going to cost. So you might as well take care of it now and never worry about it again. Set it and forget it, baby. Yeah. Uh, Ladder has 4.8 out of 5 stars on Trustpilot and has been rated A and A plus by AM's Best, so you know they're the real deal holy field. Mm-hmm. Go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's Ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage, ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. All right, that's neither here nor there. Forget about my ice situation. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you in Atlanta and Tampa. Um... And Charlotte and Nashville. And Charlotte and Nashville. Let's do some cues. Family episode, as we said, as you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, mm-hmm. you can have a question read on the air by Kevin Ryan. How you doing, gang? Thanks for tuning indoor in. Indoor outdoor shirt. <laughs> hey, what was that cat hair? <laughs> uh <laughs> She likes to snuggle. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. This one's from Taco Tycoon. Shout out to you. $10 homie. Mm-hmm. This one comes from my girl. 
Okay. Are you garbage if you get in the bathtub dry and fill it, or do you wait until it's full? She's what a, the? F- she's a dry tubber. He That's said. That's crazy. <laughs> Listen, I, it's well documented. I'm a big tub man. Kippy likes a tubby time. Dude, that's... that's I did like a, one that, yesterday. That's fish tank shit. <laughs> like, dude, getting in? It's just a bunch of rocks at the bottom. Man, a cold tub? Uh, I used to I used to dry socket it. Yeah, I used to just get in there and raw dog it. Now as I'm an older man... Wait, how would you... You would, neg- you would negotiate, navigate the temperature first. Yeah, you turn it on the temperature... Oh. I think I no. would I would turn it on. This is what I this is what I used to do when I was a younger, more naive kind of guy. Okay. I would turn the water on, get it to where I like it. Okay. Is the stopper stop? It's just no, it's just draining now. Okay. And then I'd get in and draw or maybe drop it, then get in. So I'm getting into a very dry I mean, I'm not I think it's crazy to get in there completely dry and then you're fucking trying to see you're trying to diffuse that time. You run a bath. You That's draw the, a bath. You, dr- yeah, you run, you draw a bath. Yes. Now as I get older. Yeah, you fill it up like a gentleman. I don't fill it all the way up. I fill it halfway. <laughs> Talk about ice cubes. <laughs> Woo! Man, there's like there's that, there's that much vodka in there, too. <laughs> so do you start the shop vac when you get in, or do you wait for after? <laughs> do you tell the neighbors to cover their bed in plastic? That one time that we went to uh, the cold plunge place, it's a, it's a gym that they had a cold- You also say cold plunge. Cold plunge. Yeah, you 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 drop your D's a lot. Cold plunge. Cold sore. Cold slaw. Cold slaw. Oh, there yeah. you go. It's not cold saw. <laughs> it's supposed to be though. I think that's the no. your, the. Give it oh, a go. Cold slaw. Cold slaw. Like because slaw is a thing, so it would be cold slaw. Sure. Yeah. Cold slaw. Cold slaw. Cold Street, where my dad played baseball as a little kid Dang. up there in the W B. Uh, its origin is Dutch. Ah. It started as, oh no! Here we go. Cool slaw. Cool slaw. Yes, cool slaw. Yes, yeah. really. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do cool slaw. <laughs> Sounds like butt stuff. <laughs> I would tell you, I was a. We were, cool means cabbage. Ah, oh, so it's okay. not cold slaw. Cabbage slaw. Yeah. Um, Which is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I was, Good for the fart, yeah? I was in Germany, and we were listening to the radio, and remember Lord when Lord was hot? Mm-mm. That band, the girl, Lord the Singer? Oh, L-O-R-D-E. yeah. L-O-R-D-E. I thought you meant Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Marsh. Um, And uh, the, they played this, like, the her hit song, the hit song, whatever it was. And then at the end, the, the radio personality came on and went, yeah, that was cool, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Nadine. I was like, this place stinks. <laughs> yeah, that was cool, Lord. Compare that to the geeter with the heater. <laughs> <laughs> Rattling off the time and temperature, hitting the post. Let's go. Uh, okay, why we're, on, why we're on the topic of pronunciations, which is very big on this because, mm-hmm. you know, we're all, we all have our own dirtbag dialect going. Sure. And smaller brain so we don't really know how things are said mm-hmm. this is from uh this is d- 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 hold on just to jump back sure sorry one yes that's trash to get yeah, in the sorry tub like that and two to answer your shop vac question i went to this place to do a cold plunge and i was with the owner and i got in and it went it covered the entire floor of the room and all he could do was be like oh it's okay don't worry about it Meanwhile, he's calling Geico. <laughs> <laughs> the outlets are sparking. <laughs> Who's that company that goes in and cleans up after? Uh, Serve, this- service Pro? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like it never, oh, man. Those commercials are crazy. Like, what the hell happened in here? I think that had, like, flood damage and shit. Sure. I had a buddy who worked in, uh, he worked in construction, but for insurance things. So it was, like, fires and floods. And they'd go in, it would be like, you know. Devastate someone. It looks like a cool job. They go in and clean everything up. That's I like the I like the transformation of it. Of like, damn, this yeah. place is down and out. Let me see if I can get it back to. They wear you like know. fire suits or like space suits, and they're mm-hmm. vacuuming. The- they got the booties on the feet. Yeah, it happened to my parents' apartment. Their oh. ceiling collapsed, and they woke up to a waterfall in their living That's room. That's crazy. <laughs> what happened upstairs? Pipe burst or something. Ah, flooded the upstairs apartment, and then they got got. Yeah, that happens all the they, time. They, in just, New York. they just send in the wolf. Get all, that, get all that mold. You got nine minutes. What? For the insurance adjuster shows up. You put a neck brace on. You, I'm gonna have to break your leg. You guys want this money? You want to go to jail? You want to go home? What do you want to do? 
Okay, I uh, apologize. I, I digress. And now all good. This one's from Blood Farts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's actually Captain Blood Farts. Uh, <laughs> of course. My, worked, worked his way I, up. Thank you for your service. Um, how do, I don't know if we've ever really talked about this. How do you say Marlboro? Is it Marlboro? Marlboro. Marlboro? No, Marlboro. Marlboro. Oh, hold on. Let me finish. Or Marlboro. I say Marlboro. No. Marlboro. No, I do. I say Marlboro. Say? Uh, I, I, is there I, an L in there? The worst cigarette ever made is the Marlboro Light. Well, that's... I mean, we're going to have to cut that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Got a meeting with them next week. What are you, nuts? Um, Every hairdresser I know smokes Marlboro 27s. Let's yeah. switch it over to something a little classier. Marlboro County, I believe in Oregon, where they make Pinot Noir. Okay. And a nice Sauvignon Blanc. Um, if you're order, if you're if you're at a you're at a a bodega and you're going, let me get a hit it. Can I have a pack of Marlboro Lights? You say Marlboro. It's Marlboro. I, I understand. Burrow's li- and, I understand. Marl. Yeah, Marl is the place. Burrow is what the, it is. So it's the Burrow of Marl. Yes. Yeah. Which I you give that a Google. See where that name comes from. It could be the name of the guy. I don't know. I'm a Marlboro. No L. No W. I mean, that sounds like an MTV VJ from the 90s. Yeah, you say it quick enough, they know what you're saying. Of course they do. Yeah, let me get a pack of Marlboro Lights. They can still never figure it out. Over here, over here, over here. Well, you know what I heard? Um, not I heard. I was, I was talking to one of our younger... Uh, constituents? Constituents of the Army of Garbage. Yes. And I guess he started smoking after they made the change to the, the lights and the mediums. Because you know now they're all colors. Yes. The government stepped in and said you can't call them lights. Rightfully so. So he goes, yeah. It's I a horrible s- habit. He goes, I smoke Marlboro Golds. Mm. And I went, what? I'm like, I don't smoke them. And I'm like, oh, there they are. That's exactly what I smoke. But he just probably knows them as Golds. Sure. Which is which is kooky. Yeah. All right. Just to make sure I'm getting the right thing here. So the Marlboro cigarette is named after the great Marlboro Street in London where Philip Morris Actually, his widow and brother, Philip, had died from cancer, opened oh, their God. first cigarette factory. Jesus. <laughs> Man, they opened a cigarette factory in a residential neighborhood? That's pretty cool. I, I, didn't know they were, I thought they were Southern. They're British? Isn't it? I know. <laughs> you guys thought, are smoking commie cigs. God damn it. Damn, I got to switch to something. U- give me a pack of USAs. Well, that makes sense, because who was the guy that discovered that brought tobacco back to the queen? Um... Joe uh, Camel. No. <laughs> hey, baby. No. Uh, <laughs> the Duke of somebody. He's in Elizabeth. The Duke of Heaters. <laughs> Sir Walter Raleigh. <laughs> yeah, Walter Raleigh. Yeah. Huh. I think that's what Man, Raleigh, you, North Carolina's made. That would make sense because yeah. that's a big tobacco joint. He you came ain't o- lying. He came over here and brought it back. They got an affair with the Queen, too. That's what. That's <laughs> cor- according to the Kate Blanchett movie. Okay, I seen, was wondering where you were getting all this heater information. It was her and uh, the Clive Owen. Two great movies, Elizabeth and the second one. Woo, they're all right. That Kate Blanchett is very talented. Mm-hmm. Anywho, um, Marlboro. This one's from, uh, let's see, this one's from Clinton, $10 home. He never had one red. Is it garbage if you own a wheelchair, not because of an injury, but for popping wheelies? <laughs> Which, as a kid. You find a wheelchair man, in the garage, let's go. That's that, that was the coolest. That was like, that was the. That was one step below a golf cart, which was one step below a car. Yeah. If you could drive, if you could, you know, that was a good time. If there was a wheelchair wheelie league, I could have gone pro back in the day. I was never good. I think there, you ever see that murder ball stuff? That's nuts. Those guys are out there getting after it. They would tune you up. Talk They're, about nothing to lose. Man, dude. those guys are going after yeah. fucking. And they got those, those high performance wheelchairs with the. The you Mad know, Max joints. Yeah, but the where they go in, like the wheels are on a slant, so oh, they have better pivot. Man. man, those guys would fuck They'd me up. They'd run you down like a dog in the street. <laughs> they, they call that camber. It's camber. I like Shh. it. Really? That's what they do with race cars. Get you ah, the grip. Tuck them in. So you can really smash a guy. Yeah, for <laughs> smashing purposes. <laughs> going into the paint. You think they talk shit? You think they like ram guys of and course. say stuff like, walk it off, Ab? Yeah, those guys are going you. after it. Yeah. That was like that was a league or a movie or a show. That at For one point, Murderball was like it was a. They were hot. It was a documentary. That, that and Slam Ball. Man, I wanted to get my the, hand with the trampolines. Yeah, it's back. I know. Is it? We should get a team together. <sighs> yeah, right. <laughs> Snap that thing like a rubber band. <laughs> right in the basement. Damn, I was just gonna say, oh, he's in the basement again. <laughs> Somebody get his wheelchair. That thing turned into the pit of Sarlacc real quick. <laughs> For all you Star Wars fans out there. Um, all right, let's see here. This one's from Kevin. Are you garbage if you found a $1 check in an Easter egg as a kid? 
God damn. Talk about being jammed up. <laughs> you ain't got a nickel or a, a quarter it. laying around? Post dated for July 4th. Yeah. You're going to want to hold on to that for a couple of months unless you're going to embarrass both of us. <laughs> Make an ass out of both of us at federal savings. <laughs> Anytime I got a check in that Christmas card or birthday card from somebody... I'd be like, God damn, you couldn't stop Pat Mac on your way over to the house? Well, that was the bit. I, I mean, in the mail, you would get it because you weren't mailing cash. So, like, my grandfather or my cup, my, my grandparents were always a 10, 5 to 20 on the age. On a check? On a check. Get out of here. Check's 50 and up. No, they had fucking 28 grandkids. It can't be, <laughs> they'd be fucking, they were on a very fixed income. Like, dude, think about that. That's, that's two birthdays a month minimum. Okay. That's fifty a month. Yeah, hundred a month. That's a hundred a month. That's twelve hundred a year. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Guys, retired <laughs> cop had nine kids. I don't think he's sitting on a fucking on a huge nest egg. A retired Philly cop fucking had him move down to fucking <laughs> eat nothing sandwiches. For dinner. <laughs> yeah, you keep your fat ass in skittles. <laughs> um, I hated to check though, because I remember as a little kid, I was like, "What the hell is this?" And then I would have to endorse it. I would sign it over to my mom. I was just like, hey, listen, Tuts, I ain't got a bank account. You and the other adults figure this out with the banking institutions. Give me my 10 bucks. I'm going to Aldo's. Hey, baby, what's your business hours? <laughs> Coming in to make a withdrawal. Yeah, that was always very. Um, and also there was times where I played it. I, I really schemed where like I, I she would give me the 10 bucks yeah. or 20 bucks. But then she wouldn't ca like sat behind the phone or whatever. Like she like put it somewhere. Like and then I'd be like, ah, oh, I never, I got that check from fucking Pop Pop or whatever, like two months later. You have to cross out. And she'd her. be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, let me give me the oh, cash. Oh, she would forget. I, yeah, she didn't know what was going working on. Four jobs. She's working four jobs. You got three shit ass kids. He's exhausted. <laughs> He's exhausted. Yeah, get 10 bucks. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you Getting back. paid off the same ticket stub for yeah. <laughs> nine, uh -huh. four or five times. Yeah, that's how you had to do it back then. Got a dirt ball. That, and I was running the pockets and the coats and the closets. Oh. You know it? My scam was I'd, I'd offer to go do the uh, the grocery shopping, get a little cash back from you weed. went grocery shopping. Yeah, he's told us this as before. a kid. Yeah, in like in like high school, really? get a little twenty dollar cash back, get That's some real my mother bad would weed. Never <laughs> what? Let me go grocery shopping. Uh huh. Right. Just come back with ten bags of sugar. <laughs> no way. That's a loose household. Yeah, you that's wild. Shopping? Not 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 the whole grocery shop. Picking like, up and you're not I, a full order. Not as, a full as, order. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go down to the grocery store. Is like a block away. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go grab some stuff. Mm -hmm. get like the car, what? Get the card. Do and some embezzling. And you'd put twenty bucks back on the card. I'd I'd get like, like you know cash back. Yeah, yeah. chips also whatever for the house. You sodas. lose that receipt real quick too. I'm receipt. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Who yeah, gets yeah, a receipt, yeah, Kippy? Yeah, yeah. uh, I respect it. Yikes! I said I tried that once and I got caught immediately. She, sure. she let me go tap Mac to take 20 bucks out. Bought a car. And I took 40. And by the time she had just been on her bank or whatever, like <laughs> online. This is early days of online banking. And she goes, how much money did you take out the second I walked in? I said, fuck. She's got, I don't know how, but this bro is good. Cold sweat. <laughs> I said, 20? She goes, you 40, you fucking steal it. I'm like, fuck. It's the only time I never made. You have to cough it up? I say I made some excuse. Well, like, I think I owed someone 20 bucks. I never learned to read. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a pretzel addiction I got to take care Mom, of. Mom, dumb, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Dumb as a bag of rocks. Fucking brutes. <sighs> um, all right, let's see. This one's from Cosmo Kessler. Deep cut. Cosmo Kessler. Uh huh. Cosmo Kessler. It was Kramer's original name was Kessler. Oh, okay. In the first one or two episodes. No kidding. Yeah, it was Kessler. Wow. He goes, Hi. He like introduced. He's like, Hi, I'm Kessler. I live next door. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Man, he was so not Kramer. <laughs> I know. He was always in that pilot. He was more serial killer. <laughs> yeah, even when they went to, um, when they had the party out in Long Island and he had to go pick them up, he still wasn't quite Kramer. Yet. Fully formed. Yeah, he was still a little kooky. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, is it garbage if your parents have a copy of the Constitution on the living room coffee table? <laughs> what are they, treasure hunters? <laughs> I'm going to steal the Constitution. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. They have Washington qu Crossing the Delaware commemorative plates. Well, that's big by where, because I'm from Washington's Crossing. Valley Forge is right there. Where? It's right somewhat near us. Yeah. Valley Forge is very close to me when I camped out. I think. Yeah, but saying Washington's Crossing is like. 
It's up by New Hope, right? That's right by me. It's where I grew up. Yeah, it's like mm. fuck. It's between Newtown and New Hope. I think my point has been made. Yeah. yeah, we. So Washington's Crossing is like a big. I mean, there's every there's neighborhoods. There's you know, it's all there's like you know, that's a big fucking. I think it was a school even. If my history serves me correct, and I think I just saw this on a YouTube short or something like that. Him and his boys crossed, but another like platoon crossed or squad crossed, and they didn't make it. Oh yeah, well you don't talk about the failures; you talk about the wins, baby. Which it's not even that far across. No, it's no, it's not the Delaware in the 1700s. They had boats, man. Dude. The Polynesians were crossing the Pacific Ocean before they even kept time. It was it was fucking all icy. And I'm telling you, that gets fucking. I cross it all the time. It gets fucking wonky. We cross it what? I got a wakeboard. <laughs> I'm fucking doing one jokes. of those things that go up and down. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You, what, you see you that in the winter? <laughs> uh, less than 300 yards. Okay. Uh, the site where George Washington's army cross was rather narrow. Okay. Yeah, well, they're not going to go against the big part. That'd be stupid. Idiots. You obviously look for the shorter part. You got nothing to prove. He's the greatest tactician of all time. got to fight a battle on the other side. Did, did another squad not make it, though? I'll check it out. Regiment or something like that. It wasn't like a, a platoon. I'm telling you, I've driven across that thing in the winter, and it's grabbed me where I'm like, that's nuts like if it's ripping and roaring and getting that rain yeah. or snow yeah it gets fucking, dude the, the the level on that will change by like 40 not 40 feet but like there's islands sometimes and then there's not islands and it gets fucking wacky I'm i would have hung you. back <laughs> i'm gonna cook up these hot dogs <laughs> you guys are gonna be hungry when you get back <laughs> i'll watch after the broads <laughs> Hey, you doing Susan B. Anthony? I got a poker game going, boys. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony. Like she was there. <laughs> That's the joke, thanks. <laughs> didn't, she, didn't she do the flag? Or... Yeah, she did the flag. All right, I'm sorry. Hey, fucking. <laughs> hey, Mel Gibson from the Patriot, relax, will you? Which I just watched that. That is a gory. I was one of my all time fave movies. Gory is a mofo. I just watched it straight through. I'd never seen the whole thing. Really? Yeah, my dad it's loved it. It's cheesy, but good. Yeah, that dude, I love that, the bad guy. Oh, he's great. The British, he will. He, yeah. He was also in a couple episodes of Entourage. You played a producer, but he's great. Yeah. Cruel. Burn the village. I got nothing. Kill on, everyone. I got nothing on, on dudes not making it. Okay. How many dudes did you roll across with? I don't know, man. What is this, the History Channel? <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> dude? You're, at, you're talking to him like he's Google. <laughs> hey, Pop Pop, relax, huh? <laughs> we won, huh? <laughs> That's all you got to know. Was it raining that day? <laughs> I mean, this guy's knows everything about heater history, nothing about American history. I know, I know a lot about American hey, history. Heater history is American history. <laughs> so we thought. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's a great picture. What if they got that as he was doing it? Was that guy on the other side? You, you think the guy was painting that thing? Well, how did they get him in the action? That's a recreation. Yeah. Whoa. Never mind. That's not a Polaroid? <laughs> what the heck? Probably took a picture. <laughs> didn't I mean, he's up front. He's leaning into it. He would have fell off. He was probably sleeping <laughs> in the back. That's what I would have been doing. You need your rest. You got a fight coming I'd up. I would have been hanging out for dear life. Falling that icy Delaware. Yeah. Oof, yikes. Nine Danka. <laughs> End up in Maryland. <laughs> Jammed up. End up down by the vet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> by the Eagle Stadium. They got a game going. <laughs> Kip, let me tell you about Rocket Money. Rocket Money. Did you know that about 75% of people are paying monthly for subscriptions they completely have forgotten about? Ding, ding, ding. Right here, this bozo. Did was you know it. that, Pinhead? I did know it. And if you're it. trying to save money, start by checking out Rocket Money. Mm -hmm. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, mm -hmm. and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. We all got to have a little cash. Yeah, it's easy. You can see all your subscriptions in one place. They organize it. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything's right in line. And if there's something... I had it. If there's something I didn't know, I was like, what the hell? I'm still paying for that. It was some sort of like fight subscription or something I signed up for. I was trying to watch a sporting event. <laughs> they got me. And uh, if there's something you don't want. You just boom, bada bing. You click it. A few taps. Rocket Money cancels it for you. Uh, Rocket Money's dashboard even shows you the current month's spending as compared to last month and how they'll even try, they'll even try to negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20%. 
Rocket Money has saved over 5 million users and has saved over a total of $500 million in That's cancel. That's a lot of scratch. That's a lot Think of Think all the gummy bears you can buy with that. Uh, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your, un- your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash garbage. That's rocketmoney.com slash garbage. One more time, rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. This one's just funny. This is from our boy Tanello in uh, Boston. There you go. See you soon, buddy. Anyone in your family still a travel agent? <laughs> Which they're making a comeback now. They truly are because sure. everything's gotten so convoluted and there's so many, you know, certain things are available on some sites and not others. And there's different prices. Like if you go to Expedia, if you go to Delta, if you go to. They got the ins. They do. They're like human uh, trip advisors. Or like I think trip Expedia. advisor was based off. A digital version of them, so yeah. Okay. They are the original. Yeah, they get... They get <laughs> They're like a human Expedia. They yeah, what they deals. were in the 90s. They get deals. For sure, yeah. I mean, that Michael Jordan's like a LeBron James. <laughs> I would have loved to to operate in that time. Just call a travel agent. Have them just set everything up and go into that office with like the pictures of Tahiti and Fiji on the wall. Mm-hmm. Set across. Get yeah, the, there's get still the hard tickets. I, as uh, a portion of my neighborhood is still very much uh, Dominican, mm. and that is... I mean, there's travel. I mean, all through New York, all through the boroughs of New York, Manhattan, less, I would presume. But I would assume Queens still has them. Brooklyn still has them. Cash transactions. Yeah, it's like they're just it's all it's on the corner. There's like four guys behind a desk in there and you go in and it's like, I want to go to fuck. They're all going to the Dominican Republic for the most part. They're still selling those long distance phone cards. Oh, yeah. You ever use one of those? No. No. What? I don't even know how. To, I've never used a phone I dialed card. 1-800-COLLECT back in the day. Oh, that was yeah. huge. Mom, pick me up. And then you hang up. Yeah. Suckers. 10 10 2 20. Mm-hmm. Um, 10 10 3 you calling long? What, like an, an, an international uh, phone card? Yeah. I had to use them when we were in Scotland. Then my parents in Mexico, I think I had to use them, too. Oh, uh, that makes sense. You had, to, you had to dial like 17 numbers, man. <laughs> I still don't get country codes. I remember Nadine asked me what our country code was, and I went, I, one. Yeah, I, I literally guessed. <laughs> I literally guessed. I Number went, one. I went, if I had to guess, if the, it's one. And she's like, it is. I was like, well, I had yeah. no fucking clue. Flex Germany's like pound 23 or something. Yikes. Like, buddy, you're at the back of the line. That's huh? what you get. You cross the line. <laughs> Numero uno. I always forget that your parents were hiding out in Mexico for a little while. Oh, yeah, having a nice time. <laughs> yeah, fuck, that's a kooky family, dude. I can't I can't get a read on any of them. <laughs> Uh, My dad wouldn't take me to Outback. <laughs> My dad loves Outback. G'day, mate. <laughs> you guys are hiding out down there. They used to do a they used to do a happy hour. Uh, buy one get one cocktails, and then they're like sor- sirloin or something. And my dad was like ten bucks, and my dad would not stop talking about it. Sure, man, the old schoolers loved a bad cut of meat, didn't they? Woo! London uh-huh. broil, sirloin, hanger steak. Whoosh! Yikes! I think it goes back to that like. The price point, they weren't making enough. I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's so available now. A decent cut of steak is like everywhere. You know what I mean? Before that was like, you couldn't find, you know. It was like such a huge treat. When Patty rang that dinner bell and and the name London Broil came out of her mouth, whew, it had come running through the neighborhood. (laughs) You got a little newsy hat on. (laughs) It was like leather. Brutal. Uh, Well done. You know what? Uh, you know what I used to do? It reminded me yesterday. We went out. To, I went out to eat with my with my dame and uh, with my frau line, mm-hmm. and uh, we got a, a it's like a schnitzel, like a cutlet type thing. Okay, and it came with a a thing of like cut up. Ap- were you, wait, were you in a German restaurant? No. Why are you calling it schnitzel? You got a cutlet. Yeah, I they called it a uh, schnitzel. They gave a side of apples, like chopped up, you know, like cubed apples, and I like, like it. a little bit of a not a mash, but like they weren't. Dry. I'm with you. They weren't dry. They were like I'm you know. with you. And then that made me real realize uh, I used to do that heavy as a kid. A lot of places, whether it be like a Fridays or like an independent kind of pub, bar, restaurant, pub. You, uh, you would get the chicken finger basket and mm-hmm. it would come with a side of applesauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Big fan. Would you dip? Yeah. Oh, that was the best. Patty did. Uh, that was the best. We did Seneca. The Sig? <laughs> Seneca cinnamon applesauce was in our home. Oh, you did cinny applesauce off the jump? Yeah. Nah, we, we, also, were... we also did cinnamon. Um, our graham crackers were cinnamon. 
Yeah, with the ones with the with the glitter on. That top. was the standard. You were just banging cinnies. Yeah, I, I didn't realize there was regular plain graham crackers. I think until my thirties. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. they were like they came around. And, when we had them, we always had the OG ones, and then like it was like oh, and I got these. They were too much. Nah, we loved them too. With a little bit of a little bit of uh, soft butter on them. Ooh, I just what? saw a crazy <laughs> yeah. thing about cinnamon. The cinnamon in the squeezable apple, um, uh, baby food, a- applesauce, like the like squeezable applesauce, almost like gogurts. They okay. have that. They weren't using cinnamon; they were using lead. Jesus, what? No, they weren't. <laughs> yes, they were. And there, and there's That's why lead. I can't get hard. And there's lead in Lunchables. <laughs> Well, oh, yeah. Lunchables just came out. That yeah, there are high amounts of. Well, yeah, that ain't cheese. How does that get in there? Are they putting it in there on purpose? That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Is it from the pipes? It's all pipes. How is a food company? Can you be like, yeah, just throw in a little plastic? Yeah, right. I don't think they're like standing over a vat with like a bucket of lead, being Dumping like, it in. like, yeah, let's, we we got to make sure we got to cut this a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we got to make sure this still weighs out on the fucking on Step, the scales. Stepped on applesauce. Yeah, right, this is from March 6, twenty twenty four. At least ninety confirmed cases of high blood levels uh, have been reported. This high lead, le- high, high lead, high lead levels. Thank okay. you. Have been reported mostly in babies and young children who ate the recalled applesauce and applesauce puree pouches. Oh my God. You got to watch those pouches. Can't see anything in them. Same thing with that coconut water. You don't know what's going on. Uh, this applesauce tastes like walls. Yeah. <laughs> tastes like nickels. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Kid's worth more. <laughs> Nothing on that? Um, that's crazy. You're putting bullets in the applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I hate that shit. What? Just a... Well, I was always an anti-lunchables guy. I think that's well... I, we never fucked with them. I never liked them. They don't make sense to me. So I was right this whole time. Band aids just got busted too with forever chemicals in them. And the same thing with baby powder. I used to smack that on. Yeah, I don't think they knew it. I don't think they knew at the time. Damn, what do you mean they knew? They didn't know what forever chemicals was when they made baby powder. They knew they were putting something in there that shouldn't be in there. They had to. I don't think they knew the extent of it. The science wasn't there. They didn't have the history of like, oh shit, this stuff changes your DNA. All right. I would I mean I would argue it does. I think it gets in. It it stays in you. The forever chemicals. It's now, like what kind of superpowers can I expect? I'm half this? Nerf ball right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um. I like that applesauce talk though. Forgot. Oh, man. Apple juice too. We were. Uh, I doesn't I'm, get enough credit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, we were a Mott's apple juice fam, and then the applesauce was Mott's maybe sometimes, but I feel like I don't know that I'm gonna. You were it, doing cups, right? Like individual cups. Ours no. was in a huge. No, glass we were the jar. jar. Okay. Yeah, not. I think it was a plastic jar. But if you had it forgotten, I think it was the... Musclemans or whatever. Musclemans. Is that yeah. how it's pronounced? I like a Musclemans. Yeah. yeah. Not no. bad. Yeah. If you left one, if those one of those things fell off the ship and went undetected in the fridge, like a half-eaten apple jar, applesauce jar, they turn quick. Oh. They get that mold in there. Oh. Grody. I had my cousin over. My cousin Sean came over one time, uh, and I might have mentioned this before. I guess I probably like uh, the, there was an opened uh, apple juice, big app, like a you know whatever uh, gallon of apple juice or whatever uh-huh. the fuck it was, cracked, and then close. Like someone must have took a sip or a little bit, closed it, and put it back on the floor, like in the cabinet. Like it wasn't open. You know how you re- refrigerate after. Gotcha. Like, Dude, and my cousin came over and had to be sitting there for fucking two months. And he was like, oh, I'll have this. Open it, dude. And he poured it into a cup. And I remember the mo- I remember the mold falling out of the container into the cup. And I don't think, I thought he clocked it. And I, I guess I don't, what I, he took a sip. And I was just like, dude, I called the cops. I was like, this guy, this guy's got two, three hours left. <laughs> You're sl- he's slurping mold? Uh, it was rough. It was rough. He didn't see it. It got under the ice cubes or whatever. My boy's mom had a thing of red wine vinegar in her cabinet. And at a certain point that like, I think it's like kind of the same thing that they make kombucha with, like uh, like an amoeba or whatever the hell it is grows in there. Yeah, let me out. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Man. It's hot as shit in here, dude. Yeah, we had just seen Alien. Dude, we didn't trust that joint. Nah. Burn yo. that place to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Man, they're called something. Um, I can't. I wouldn't be able to think. Cultures, of something like that. Some something scientific. We don't but know what not. we're talking about. A scoby, I think they call them. 
because a comedian friend of ours makes his own kombucha and he has the same one that he's had. You just keep transferring it into like whatever they make it in iced tea or whatever. And it ferments it. Mm -hmm. Great for the gut health. What they say. Sure. Um, this one's from Barmello's Anthony. That's pretty good. That's funny. Um, ten dollar homie for the longest time. Never have one read. Is it garbage to get off work at eight p.m. and be in a race against the sunset to get home before it gets too dark to drive around with two broken headlights? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I've been in those positions before. Hit the junkyard, dog. For the bulbs, though. Yeah, Patty did that all the time. But I think the bulbs are relatively cheap. Go to an uh, auto zone? Yeah, I think they're like 10 bucks, 20, you know, something. My thing is, I think with that, to me, that was always laziness on my part of like, fuck, I'm going to break light out. Fuck my head. Like, or the times where you got to ride around with the fucking high beams on because you're getting your low level Johns are all oh, fucked up. Everybody hates you. Oh, yeah. Brutal. Flapping at you. Uh huh. Man. I had to kill somebody with that. I had, I, we had a, a, one of my Chevy Luminas I had was, was better, uh, was a real, was a good winter car because you had to have the heat cranked all the way up or it overheated. Okay. So that was like, uh, man, come springtime, you're cranking the heat and you're, you had to have the heat cranking or it would overheat just to get the hot air out of there. To get, no. So the, the when you turn the fan on, I think we've, ta I've talked about this with you off air, I think, about something. You turn the fan on, it the intake sucks the air over the Is that engine. where the heat's coming from? Yeah, and cools the engine and heats the air and then blows the not the exhaust, but you know I didn't know the that. byproduct on you. Whoa. That's why there's a problem with Teslas with like the heat. I think it takes a long time for the heat to get up because there's, there's no there's no heat there's no, no fucking internal engine. combustion engine. Yes. No pistons. Pew, pew, pew. Um Yeah, so that we had that, so it was like that was you were cranking heavy heat in that Lumina for a for a minute, but then the springtime comes. Okay, and people are like, can you turn the heat down? You're like, nah, I can't. I've always wanted to have the experience. I'm a big commercial guy. I've always wanted to have the experience that they do that they show in like an AutoZone commercial. Like the guy goes in for his part and it's mm -hmm. right there. I've never seen that. I've been in an AutoZone once or twice. And it's chaos. I've kind of had it. Really? Genuinely, you go in and they go, you tell the guys, like, what kind of car do you got? And I'm like, a 90-whatever Chevy Lumina. And he goes, oh, what do you need? This part. He goes, okay, beep, 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 beep. Looks at it. it brings you the box brings out? Brings you the box. And then they even, I think at one of those national chains, there are probably a handful of them. They'll give you a hand with, like, minor things. Putting it in. Of like, hey, well, yeah, I'll help you out. You know, I'll help you out put the whatever in the So they always the do it out there. Yeah, the guy I, I remember I had a guy come out in the parking lot and be like, I'll give you a hand. Huh. Mm hmm. OK, but I was never a fix my own car guy myself. Of course, we're idiots. Sure. Um, all right, let's see. This one's from James. Are you garbage if you date your buddy's identical twin sister? Your buddy's identical twin sister. So it'd be like if you had an identical twin and I dated her. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome lady. <laughs> Ah, uh, identical. That's weird to me. It's weird. I don't know if it's garbage. It's a little strange. Mm. That connect. I mean, obviously, if it's your best friend or your, your buddy's sister anyway, Wait, is a but, tough look. But identical twins have to be the same sex. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because they share 100% of the DNA, identical twins will always be the same sex. No kidding. Huh. You're really make us look like assholes there, Timo. Well, either, either well, I think this broad needs to tell this guy something's going on. Either that or his buddy's got a secret. <laughs> fraternal twins. Okay. So that, that makes but I, I thought fraternal I, twins meant you just didn't look that much alike. Correct. Huh. Isn't it like a different egg or something? <laughs> Only eggs I know are in omelets, bro. They're, they're scrambled for sure. <laughs> Quail. Yeah. Um, um wait, hold on. Can you have boy and girl identical twins? You had a good typing flow there, Kippy. That, if, I wish you could have seen what I got because it was nowhere close. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely wish. Sometimes identical twins can be assigned the sex of male and female at birth. These twins start off as identical males with an XY set of chromosomes, but shortly after the egg divides, a genetic mutation called Turner syndrome occurs, leaving one of the twins with uh, XO chromosomes. Hmm. Take that, Jeeves. Whatever you're working with over there. Oh, the rarest thing in, yeah. in birth? <laughs> One in a billion. Turner syndrome? Well, you're listen. calling me out on Turner syndrome? 
Then you got to date this broad because she's lucky. She's one in a billion. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever it is, she's got Get it. Get that chick some lottery tickets, uh-huh. dude. <laughs> Either way, play the numbers, dude. She keeps getting struck by lightning and shit. <laughs> date ah, date well. old Sparky. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I got depending on the relationship and all that stuff. Dating your buddy sisters. Uh, I mean, your buddy sister, whatever. That's uh, that, I'm uh, talking about growing up as adults, whatever. Uh, yeah, but, but the identical twin thing is no. It's awesome. You got a guy to pal around with, play your Xbox, and then you and get whatnot. to fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> that's too weird. If they look that much alike, that's a little too. Sh- I couldn't get that out of my head. Nah, I don't know about that. I'm uh, yeah. That's I'm telling you, me. I couldn't. It's I couldn't a, do it. It's a it's the closest you can get to being gay while still being straight. Because you know their no. mannerisms are all the same. Their personalities are probably pretty similar. <laughs> You're fucking her. He feels it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary. <laughs> Kevin, knock it off over there. <laughs> get your finger out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do my theme paper. <laughs> But if, like, you go over to, your, say you're in high school and you go over to your buddy's house mm-hmm. for a sleepover, you know, if you're dating the sister, you're sneaking out. How does that make him feel? Sure. And I'm going there for some applesauce. <laughs> he got any Musclemans in the, in the fridge? I'll be back in 20, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll be back in 20 seconds. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had it. A good friend of ours dated a good friend of ours, uh, sister for all through high school for like a chunk of it. And, uh, it worked out. It was never weird. Were they the same age? She was one year younger than us. Yeah. So, yeah. Same, you know, um, and it was, uh, that was my only real time of having that. And it was super normal. I think we were friends with him. Yeah, we were friends with him and then they started. So it was kind of, you know, um. Kind of an easy peasy type thing. Did you have any boys that had any uh, hot sisters? Yeah, this one I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, she was man, pretty cool, crazy. Yeah, uh huh. And it was tough because like so it was an older sister, and like they were real sweet to you. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I don't you're, think I had because you're my older. little brother's. I mean, your sister had hot friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, man, oh, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> I am well aware. I know. Um, so you go to a regular high school, you get to, you get to enjoy some of that stuff, all right? Yeah, you get to strike out like the rest of us. <laughs> Not your freak school. <laughs> Looking at Professor Xavier's dome. <laughs> Doing your finals on an Etch-A-Sketch. <laughs> um, weirdo. <laughs> but that buddy, so, the, so that buddy, uh, she would have her friends, like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, dog. So she was a year younger than us. Oh, okay. And her hot friends would all, like, they, they were the hot, they were uh, sure. an attractive crew, you sure. know what I mean? And, um. That was the creep meter going <laughs> off. <laughs> I was a text, are you talking about my sister? I was like, no. Um, so that, as a fat. You know, eighth, ninth grader, and they had a pool too. So that was <laughs> that was break out the good t shirt for made, those swim sessions. That made for a lot of like, I think I gotta go home for dinner. Like, my I got my uncles in town. I got because we'd all be hanging out, it'd be pretty good. Everybody's like, let's go in the pool. And I'm like, I actually I just got stitches in the <laughs> you can't see them. I ate like 20 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> Salad, of course. I'm watching. Oh, I just remembered I'm a huge pussy. I got a. <laughs> I just remembered I got tits. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> would you actually? Because I, I feel bad. Would that that would keep you from? I'm down to go swimming if one of you ladies can lend me a top. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I borrow one of your mom's? Can I borrow one of your mom's bikinis? <laughs> hey, your mom got a one piece in there. Something from the swim team. Would that actually keep you from social situations? That's a lot of compression. I mean, I wouldn't, like, uh, I wasn't I running off the diving board <laughs> yelling cannonball. <laughs> uh, at a certain point, you just, I mean, you, yeah, you, I mean, you, I was, you, I was, you feel that anxiety inside, but I, I, would, I would never let, listen, if, if it came to me looking at broads in bikinis and her, them seeing me with my shirt off, I'm taking the shirt off. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, yeah. That was no. a charming kid, though. <laughs> Doing the fucking truffle shuffle or whatever. The fuck. Yeah, lean into it, dog. <laughs> no, I hated the kid. That, not hated, but I did. Yeah, I didn't love the the kid that leaned into it. 
that the, much. The, the heavy kid. That would be like, blah, 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 blah. He's like, buddy, fucking <laughs> no, write I mean, a bit or something. But here. you can't go home because you're too nervous I've, to I've, swim. No, I'm over-exaggerating. I'm not saying um, I wouldn't go home. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I wasn't like, this is awesome. Let's fucking, you know. You got in quick. <laughs> yeah. You were a deep end guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, <I'm, laughs> hell, let's do a treading water contest. <laughs> Looks like a frog bend coming up. <laughs> everybody, everybody, let's only keep your heads out of the water for a while. Marco Polo only. <laughs> Uh, no right. goggles, no goggles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, knock it off with that. Stop snorkeling. I was always more. I'm always more conscious about getting out of a pool. Hey, this is now getting out of a pool. You should be conscious within 100 yards of a pool. <laughs> getting out of the pool. The top, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But when that bathing suit sucks into you and you see the outline of everything, mm-hmm. everyone's, everyone like, got a little pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> a little stinger. <laughs> yeah, I think you're in a great position where that's not what they're looking at. You have you have, you have have more attraction. Draws the eye. <laughs> <laughs> like a everybody's, looking at that, everybody's looking at that flat butt you got. <laughs> my trunks are oh, up. Oh, man. man. I, like, I like to wear my trunks high. But they're only high in the back. You, you go. You, you're on a 45 degree angle, my friend. Are they custom made? Woo wee! All right, we gotta wrap it up, gang. Ah, uh, gang, what a fun one! Yes, sir. Uh, again, come see a show. Come see a show. We got uh, like we said, this week is Tampa and Atlanta, and then coming up, we have the second show at the Wilbur. There's still tickets available. Uh, Town the, Hall, some tickets available. Town in New Hall, York City. That's about 75 percent of the way sold out. Get there. That's gonna fucking go down. That ain't even gonna be close. New York City. Uh, and then all the, all dates are available at argugarbage.com. And we'll be adding more dates, obviously, as the year goes on. We're coming everywhere. We love you guys, mm-hmm. and we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.